Hello, welcome to the Manju Awakening. My name is Kiana and we are going to jump straight in. I pulled a pre-shuffle energy. I got protests, mural, and stars. And this is the energy of going out here and understanding that it's time to start manifesting outside the box. And, and in this manifestation that you're being called to put out into the universe at this time, going into this Libra new moon, is make sure that your top priority, make sure that you're manifesting in something so transformational, it's unreal, but make sure that you're your own priority. And this, I'm not saying go in here and ask for you know, a, a dream house that you know is occupied by somebody else. And you know, I'm not, that's that's a selfish manifestation. That's not being your own priority. What I'm saying is think outside of the box. Break the, break the glass ceiling by what you're calling in from the universe. Think extraordinary during this um, next moon cycle. Give me a second, guys. And you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want. Whatever it is that you want. You have the ability to manifest it. You just have to meditate and contemplate on what those are. On what it is that you um, want to, how you can mold this opportunity. Because one thing about all the aces, not just the ace of pentacles, is while it is a gift from the divine, it is handcrafted just for you. It still requires you to put work in. You can't just take this and then it give you something grandiose. No. You got it. You have to put in work with these aces, and uh, but it is an opportunity to move on to calmer waters. But you may be the one. You may have to. You may be responsible for bringing someone along, and yet still, you may be the one pushing the boat, rowing the boat. You may be that, and the, but but get yourself. Make sure you're straight. If that's what you're going to do, if this is the position that you're going to feel, make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure that you're straight. Make sure that you're protected as well before you put somebody else on your boat. Okay? Be your own first priority. Don't let somebody else dictate this. And damn sure don't overthink it. Damn sure don't overthink it. And allow fears that, yeah, about, ooh, this is having to leave something behind. That's having to release. Definitely have to release fears and anxiety. But that's also the energy of having to uh, leave something behind. Okay, spirit. Let's see. What is this energy, spirit? Okay, spirit. So that's what that is. That's um, you have to detach from the concept of making the wrong decision or the wrong choice. As long as you choose you, you there is no wrong answer. The nine of wands in the reverse. So how you're currently showing up is the nine of wands in the reverse. What the universe is trying to get you to see is that the worst is over. So it's like you're exhausted. This is like giving up um, at the fight, uh, giving up just a moment too soon, exhausted, not having the, the energy to keep going. But the universe needs you to see that you're about to quit before the end. Right before the end. Yeah, right before the end. I get it. I get it. You're exhausted. You're tired of um being left to do things on your own but it's like now is not the time to fall victim or don't let that concept that mindset get the best of you right now because i feel like you're close to the you're close to the finish line and you're about to give up you feel exhausted and if you're not here right now this is a message of foresight to save each your weedies because there's going to become a time where you are just absolutely exhausted and ready to give up and you feel like that all hope is lost. And that is when the finish line is right there. But you got to be strong enough to get through that energy. Mm-hmm. 
the obstacle and the ju uh, the obstacle and the challenge is the judgment in the reverse. We've got the three of cups in the reverse. Um, there is this energy of really not heeding your call. This, there's something about uh, the obstacle or the challenge is the judgment. This is uh, definitely being. Uh, this is dealing with the consequences of it of, of a decision that was made. Um, this is not listening to your inner inter wisdom. This is not heeding your internal calling. There is advice and input coming forward. But because it's not accepted by those around you in this fear of having to be left out in the cold or be left to do something alone may hold one back. So then you begin to, because you're you're feeling like the decisions that you make, people are left behind. You feel like you're being left out in the cold. And then there's the sense of an abandonment issue being opened up. And so then you start to doubt your, uh, your path. You begin to doubt your journey. You doubt that there is um, a way out. You doubt that there is conflict resolution ahead. Hmm. Hmm. There's some type of codependency that gets opened up just like that. Let's go farther. That was the um, challenge or the obstacle. There's definitely a transformation that needs to take place. And I'm here to tell you that I feel like that this transformation will take place in a friend setting. sun card in the reverse this is a lot of resistant energy um there's definitely this sense of pessimism it's like the moment that it's like the moment that so, one thing doesn't go as planned this energy of self-doubt and pessimism just, just creeps right on in. And I'm here to tell you that that energy right there, that energy alone is going to be the cause of you quitting right before you can have it. Look, on this card, she drew the castle. In this card, start a revolution, she is in front of the castle that she's going for. She ain't going to go, she's... It's, she, She's been dreaming of this for a long, long time. For a long, long time. She's been creating her, uh, her uh, castle, her happily ever after in her mind for a long time. And now she's here at the final stretch. I may get to her with somebody by my side. But even if by the time I walk through them gates, I'm by myself, that's what it be. That's, that has to be accepted, you know? Thank you, Spirit. Um, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Uh, the Devil card in the reverse. Uh, and, until you're ready to release... Until you actively make that decision 
to release the self-doubt. You can't, it doesn't matter how that wheel turns. If you have self-doubt, there's so much energy going into self-doubt that you're exerting and exhausting yourself. You're exerting your energy and exhausting yourself. And so no matter how this wheel tones, you will always feel as if it's taking everything out of you to hold on because you put so much energy into this pessimistic view. You doubt, you doubt the vision too much. And it's absolutely, you got to get out of your head until you release those things. And no longer, you have to set yourself free from things that you tell yourself. This right here, I get self-doubt. I have to watch the playback, but I think self-doubt has been the theme of this uh, reading. We got the King of Swords as uh, the advice card. <laughs> Make that logical, sound decision, right? Absolutely. Integrity is a must. Integrity is a must. You must lead with integrity. And a few seconds ago, which is what drew me in in that moment of silence, if you wonder where I was at. <laughs> um, uh, my guides were pulling me into how I said she's about to go take this castle. Absolutely. I, I, I stand by that. I feel like she's about to go take over that castle. But I don't think that this young lady is about to do anything against integrity and morals and if you thought about it then this message is to be like hey hold on make sure you lead with your integrity now make sure you got your integrity and your morals at the front of any final decisions that you are making and that's how you get yourself out of this self-doubt did you do it in good moral did you do it with, in with intention of integrity If so, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. As long as you lead with intent, with integrity and morals, I feel like that this is something that you will begin to see shift and change. But you have to change your mindset. And there is a conflict resolution. There is a conflict resolution available. But it is going to require you to master some things within you. That way, when um, someone that is not in the energy of standing upright in conflict resolution, when this person is trying to dig at you, then, you know, um, what I'm it, it doesn't matter how you show up or what your intentions are in showing up. My intentions are pure. I am in line with integrity. I stand aligned to my divine guidance. The King of Pentacles, I mean, the King of Swords is most definitely divine guidance. He is very, very, uh, I got, I watched one reader, uh, Amethyst Rose. Uh, I love her. Uh, she uh, calls this uh, her guide card and I understand why. But as, if, as long as you are standing in alignment with what your divine guidance is, then, you know, um, things will begin to shift. But there is some resistance right now because of the stories that you tell yourself. There's a need to be joyful, joyous.
Uh, surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson in every moment. Surrender compassion with other, uh, surrender compa comparison. Sorry, guys, let me slow down. Surrender comparison with other people. Your soul's path is your soul's path. It is only, it. you are going to break glass ceilings with your manifestations and you are being called to actively do so like stop resisting this like stop thinking inside of the box out of fear of shaking things up no shake some shit up 